Hi everyone, and welcome to how to create an advanced isometric illustration using the SSR method. So first of all, let's go ahead and learn how to create an isometric cube. Here we have a four inch square, which I've created using the rectangle tool here. Now with the square selected, let's go ahead and double click on the scale tool. Once you've done that, we're going to check non-uniform and we want to scale this to 86.062% vertically. Press OK. And with your object selected, let's go ahead and double click on the shear tool. And let's shear the object by 30 degrees, like so. Excellent. Now with the object still selected, now let's double click on the rotate tool. And now we want to rotate this minus 30 degrees. Click OK. And now we have created the top of our cube. Now to create the left side of the cube, let's begin with another four inch square. So I'm just going to paste in another four inch square here, like so. And now we're going to scale this as well. So let's go ahead and double click on the scale tool again. And we're going to scale this vertically by 86.062%. And then we're going to shear this by double clicking on the shear tool by minus 30 degrees. And now we're going to rotate this by minus 30 degrees, like so. Let's go ahead and create the other side by duplicating this by pressing Control C on the keyboard and then pressing Control V to paste. And we're just going to flip this. So right click, go to transform, reflect, and let's reflect vertically. Hit OK, and now we've got both sides of our cube, like so. It's so just putting them in place and just line them up to create our cube. Excellent. Now the power of this method becomes apparent when you try to create an object that would be very difficult to construct on a grid. This method only works if you have a set of orthographic projections to work with. Let's try this technique using this guitar shape here. So select the whole shape here. We're going to double click on the scale tool and we're going to scale vertically by 86.062%. Click OK. And now we're going to select the shear tool, double click on that and shear that by 30%. Click OK. Once we've done that, we're going to double click on the rotate tool and rotate by minus 30 degrees. Excellent. You can also check your work by comparing any straight edges and seeing if they now fall into an isometric grid. They will either be on the 30 degree angle or the 150 degree angle, like so. From here, we're just going to use the side of the guitar here to figure out the thickness of our shape. So again, let's go through the process. So we're going to scale vertically by using the scale tool by 86.062%. Then we're going to shear by 30%. And then finally, we're going to rotate by 30%. Excellent. Now let's go ahead and use the side of the guitar to measure out how thick our guitar should be. So just placing it on top of our guitar shape here, we can now go ahead and duplicate our guitar shape by pressing Control C and then Control Shift V on the keyboard. And then by holding Shift and then sort of clicking and dragging it up here, we can move it in a straight line 
and then sort of line it up to the top of our shape. So you can see here, we've just lined it up to the top of the top corner of our side of the guitar here, like that. And now you can instantly see how thick our guitar should be. Let's go ahead and move the side view out of the way for a second. And we're just going to go ahead and join these corners here. So using the pen tool, let's click and join the corners here, like so. And then once you've done that, we can go ahead and bring our side view in here again, just to sort of measure out how thick our cutaway is going to be. So zooming in over here, let's use the pen tool once again. And in fact, we can duplicate this shape here. So let's go ahead and duplicate this square here. Uh, first of all, we're going to want to ungroup it from the rest of our guitar. And let's press Control C, Control Shift V, and then just move it down until it lines up with the top corner of our cutaway. So let's move it down here. Now you'll notice that we have, we're missing a bit of the top right corner of our shape here. So using our direct selection tool, let's select these lines here. So the top line here, the corner line here, and the side line here, press Control C, and then press Control Shift V on the keyboard. And then we're going to use the selection tool to move this down. Excellent. So now that we have our shapes together like this, all we have to do now is use the scissors tool here, which is C on the keyboard. And we're just going to go ahead and remove any of the excess shapes that we don't need. So using the scissors tool here, I'm just going to click on the path that we don't need and then press delete on the keyboard like so. So just going around the whole guitar deleting all the unwanted and overlapping shapes. So here we've cleaned up all the unwanted lines. All that's left to do now is just to use the pen tool and just connect the missing lines to create our 3D isometric guitar. Excellent. So now you know how to create isometric illustrations using the SSR method. I hope you had fun with this project and I'll see you next time on Tuts Plus.